your campaign put out a statement pointing to the legislative victories um, since yes. the 2018 election. So does that mean that you have faith in the upcoming election and how it will be run? And will you commit to conceding if you do not win more votes than Governor Kemp? I have always acknowledged the outcome of elections. And what is deeply concerning to me is the conflation of access to the right to vote and the outcome of elections. I have never challenged the outcome of the election. In my speech on, on November 16th, I clearly stated that he was the victor. And any time I've discussed the outcome, it has always been in the context of what we were able to generate among voters who are used to not being considered a part of the process. But my fight will always be about access. I know that heading into the 2022 election, there are new barriers that have been put in place, that there are senior citizens and disabled voters who are facing a much more difficult time getting access to absentee ballot application. I will never be silent about the issues of voter access because I believe in our democracy and I believe in our right to vote. I do not question the outcome of the election, but I do question the process. But on this question, I didn't hear an answer to the question, will you commit to conceding the election if Governor Kemp does have more votes? And again, said, I, I answered your question at the very beginning. I acknowledged at the very beginning that he won the election. What I said in my speech... That you also wouldn't concede. No, no, no. What I said in that speech is I would not concede a system that would not permit voters to be heard. But yes, I believe that the outcome of the elections should be respected. I have always done so and I will continue to do so.